So in this video, we'll be controlling our home appliances using Siri Smart Assistant just like this. Hey Siri, turn off all the lights. So that's the project and that project was made using the home assistant server running on a raspberry pi board it's a local area based network and you can control your home appliances using apple home uh, mobile application or siri voice assistant from any of your ios devices connected under the same wi-fi network so stick around with this video to learn how to make it on your own so before integrating the Apple Home or Siri voice uh, assistant inside our home assistant, we first need to integrate the ESP home with our home assistant. So in my previous video, I already did this, like how to control our home appliances with the help of ESP home integrated with the home assistant uh, platform. So do watch out that video whose link is in the description. And that's a really important video because this is a continuation of uh, that particular video. But still, what I'll do here is I'll quickly go through these steps uh, required to add the ESP home in it. And if you want to watch in detail, do watch out that video. So first of all, we'll be going into our home assistant dashboard by visiting the page homeassistant.local-8123. After that, we'll quickly log into our uh, home assistant dashboard. Okay, so here is my home assistant dashboard. So first of all, to add the ESP home, you first need to go to the configuration part and here click on the add ons button. Click on add uh, add on store and here just search for ESP home. Click on this icon and click on the install button, which will install this ESP home add on onto your home assistant platform. Okay, so the ESP home is successfully installed here and here I'll click on the start button to start the ESP home services on it. And here I'll also click on the uh, show in sidebar tick mark so that we can get this ESP home icon here and which will be easy for us to program it to configure it. Okay, that's it. You just click on open web UI and it will take you to this page where you just need to click on the add new device. Click on continue, name your device, uh, you can name it any of the thing, I'll name it as ESP32 only, click on the next button, select the board, in our case we are using the ESP32 board, so I'll select this only, click on next, and that's it, uh, we have successfully added our uh, ESP32 board here, okay, and after that here, just need to click on the edit button, and here you need to provide a couple of details, so in our project, we are controlling four appliances connected to four digital pins of the ESP32 board, so schematic is something like this. And well, we also designed our own custom made PCB for this project whose order we directly gave to JLC PCB. Well, even you can download the Gerber file of the project and give the PCB order to JLC PCB by just uploading that Gerber file of the PCB project, select the color masking if you want it, and just pay for your order. And if you select the fastest delivery option, you may get the PCBs delivered at the doorstep within a week. And well, you can also try out the SMD assembly service in case you want to get all the SMD uh, components on one layer of the PCB already shouldered by JLC PCB. So do try out JLC PCB service. The link is mentioned down in the description. So after receiving the PCBs and shouldering all the components on it, our PCB project looks like this. So that was the hardware part of the project and as we have connected four appliances on our PCB or the ESP32, we'll be mentioning four different appliances here as well. And for that, you need to write out this uh, YAML file whose link uh, or rather this file I'll be attaching in the description as well so you can directly copy and paste it. But the important stuff is you to, here you need to provide the serial name and password of your Wi-Fi router. Rest of all the lines I already explained in that previous video so do watch it out because that's a detailed video. That's it. After that you just need to click on the install button select plug into the computer running esp home dashboard it is just because i have connected my esp32 board with the raspberry pi board on which the home assistant server is running select this option and here as you can see the board already appeared because that board is the esp32 is already connected to it i'll select this and it will take some time to upload uh, the code onto the esp32 board but make sure that you press and hold the boot button on the esp32 board otherwise the code won't get uploaded so let me wait till the code gets uploaded Okay, so the code is successfully uploaded on the ESP32 board and it is started running and here we also got the local IP address which is this. So let me just copy it because sometimes we may require it. Okay, so yeah, that was all about uh, uploading this particular ESP home firmware. You can say you can click on the stop button and now you need to go to the configuration again, go to the device and services and here you need to add integration which is about ESP home. Click on it and here you need to provide the IP address. I'll paste that IP address, click on submit button. 
okay so here you got this particular thing now here you can select the area where you want to uh, you know attach this appliances you can add any random thing i'll select the studio here click on finish button and that's it now you can go to your uh, overview part and here inside the dashboard you can add a card uh, from which you can control the appliances okay so you can add the uh, buttons like a single light button for a single controller or you can go with this particular four appliances Click on continue and you can add all the four appliances on one single card and add it to your dashboard. And this is all about controlling your appliances using ESP Home. You can easily control the devices using this particular thing. But we want to add one more thing here, which is the Siri voice assistant integration. OK, and for that, now you need to go to configuration part, go into device and services here. Click on add integration. And now you just need to tap here as home kit. Click on home kit. Click on the submit button and click on the submit button once again okay here also you can select on in which area uh, in your apple home kit app you want to attach these all appliances here i'll again select the studio click on the finish button and that's it we successfully added the apple home kit integration inside home assistant and one notification also popped up here which is about the qr code now this qr code is really very important whenever we want to add any devices in our Apple home gate mobile application. Okay. Let you uh, show the steps on how you can add these appliances with this QR code. So first of all, open this home app on your iOS devices. Mm -hmm. And after that, you just need to click on add accessory here. It will ask you to scan the QR code there and scan the QR code, which is shown inside the home assistant dashboard. And yeah, just click on add to home, click on add anyway. And here you just need to select the location on which you need to add the appliances. Here I'll select my studio. Click on continue. You can name this thing according to your choice. I'll name it as my studio automation. Great. Click on continue. Click on continue once again. And here are all the four lights. Click on continue. And uh, location will be my studio only. I can rename the light according to my choice, but let it be as a light one only. Similarly, I'll add all the four lights like light two light three and light four done and we have added all the four lights in our apple home dashboard which we can control from this application as well as with the help of the siri voice assistant as well so with this, we have successfully added all the four appliances in our Apple Home Kit application. And now what I'll do, I'll take out the ESP32 board from the Raspberry Pi board, insert it on my PCB project, I'll power it up. And now let's just see this project working in action with the help of Siri. So it's time to see the demo of this project. So here are all the bulbs connected with our PCB project. And here I'll open up the Apple Home application and let's try to turn on each appliances. So let's try with the app and then we'll ask Siri to it or Siri to for doing this. So I'll turn on as you can see all the lights are turning on with a very, very low latency. So it's almost real time, you can say. OK, and I can also do this by the assistant. Let me try it out. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. Turn on light one. Okay, the light one is on. Hey Siri, turn on all the lights. Okay, all the lights are on. And last, hey Siri, turn off all the lights. Okay, all the lights are off. So it is that easy to make your own home automation project using any iOS device with the help of Apple HomeKit using Home Assistant running on your Raspberry Pi board. So yeah, that was all about how to make your own home automation project that can be controlled using Siri voice assistant. And that's not it about the home assistant uh, series. We have a lot more to cover in this series. And do let me know your suggestion about what next thing we should do on the home assistant uh, server in our home assistant series. Do drop your comments regarding the next project to be made in this series. And we'll definitely try to make this just for you guys. And as always, if you like this video, you can give a big thumbs up and also give a super thanks to support our channel. You can also support us on Patreon, whose link is mentioned in the description. And do subscribe our channel for more such amazing content related to electronics, IoT and home automation coming up in near future. And yeah, that being said, I'm just ending this video here. And now just wait for my next video to explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.